if you really do want more on your scribe, then a web app called ReKindle shows that this device may be capable of more than what Amazon officially allows. ReKindle is a free browser-based app that runs entirely inside the Kindle's built-in web browser. There's no hacking, no jailbreaking, and no software installation. You simply visit rekindle.inc using the experimental browser already on your device. Once loaded, Rekindle acts like a custom home screen or dashboard, especially well suited to larger devices like the Kindle Scribe. Visually, it takes inspiration from early Apple computer interfaces, using simple grey icons designed to work well with e-ink refresh rates. The dashboard is split into categories. There are essential tools like calendar, contacts and weather, practical utilities such as tasks, timers and calculators, and reference style apps including Wikipedia and Reddit. There are also a few games. Now, none of these are full replacements for proper smartphone or tablet apps, but that's really not the point. The idea is to extend what an e-reader can do. Now, some features are more compelling than others. The weather app is clean and readable. The calendar can sync with Google Calendar if you want, or it can run locally without an account. On the Kindle Scribe specifically, handwritten to-do lists can even be converted into text inside the browser, though writing on a web app is noticeably slower than using Amazon's native notebooks. The wider point raised by ReKindle is about the state of e-ink software in general. Android-based devices like Books tablets already allow full app installs, but that flexibility often comes with added complexity and that aforementioned distraction. At the other end of the spectrum, devices like the Kindle and Remarkable are very tightly focused but limited. ReKindle sits somewhere in the middle. It doesn't turn a Kindle into an iPad, despite the headlines that some people are using, but it does show how web apps can bridge the gap between locked down e-readers and fully open tablets. It's not a replacement for Android apps on a Books device, and it's nowhere near the experience you get from iPadOS on an iPad. But for a free tool that works on hardware people already own, it's a reminder that ink devices may still have untapped potential. And for Kindle scribe owners especially, it's an interesting experiment that costs nothing to try.